Okay, this is how this is going to have to get done, I imagine. So, this is Ia Patsy. I tried to come to you live from the 9-11 Memorial in New York City on November 11th, 2019. I tried twice and I failed twice. And so I guess it's best for us to just do a recording and upload it, hopefully later. So, how's everybody been? I um, decided to come down here because I got an invitation, an email um, on Friday actually, um, inviting uh, first responders and survivors and their families to come and see these exhibits that are um, just wonderful memorializations of uh, the events um, of 9-11 and um, the history of the World Trade Center itself, you know, its position in Manhattan and how it came to be and what was the intention of it. And as I was coming out of the subway and looking at the beautiful, beautiful atrium that has been, um, that's part of the exhibit in a way. It's part of the museum, but it's actually the MTA subway system, but there's a shopping mall and everything. And as I was going, walking through there, so again, this is exactly what they wanted in the first place anyway. They wanted a shopping hub, uh, a commerce hub. Um, and what it, it was, I guess, was more office space than it was, uh, a co you know, it was a different kind of energy, I guess. And so now they've incorporated that type of energy on the subway as you come into the World Trade Center. As soon as you get off the stop, you are part of the experience. And even as I was coming into the building, because they give you, they make you do a whole maze, you know, to go through, which is good. It keeps the lines in order, and people, you know, don't do things like, you know, take the the hook out of the barriers and you know walk through which you know could easily be done like you do at the bank right but you know, you know didn't do it I walked around the whole maze as I'm sure everybody else has because it's like some reverence type of thing that goes on here you get this at least I think a lot of people do from what I'm seeing and a lot of visitors here today they are from all kinds of um, different countries Sweden seems um, there were veterans from oh man very important um, not not necessarily important but Penske Penske yeah Penske they make tools I think yeah there were um, a bunch of guys there there are actually some people here who seem to be Amish they're here and they absolutely are yep gentlemen and I uh, don't see their wives, but there are a lot of gentlemen, one, two, three, four of them at least here together as a group. And, oh, more than that, my, okay. But they're all guys, men, they're all gentlemen. I don't see any women with them at all. But they've come in, I guess they came from Pennsylvania to visit with us. Who knows? But they appear to be Amish. Absolutely. So, um, yeah. So there are all kind of people of all different nationalities. There was a, a soldier downstairs sitting, um, checking his cell phone. And the guys the, had the Penske shirts on, you know, the veterans, um, the Penske shirt. What is it? Penske Veterans. That's what it was. It was a white shirt with black writing on it. But they left, they were in a line because they came in as a group for a tour. And they all, you know, many of them thanked this young man, this young African American soldier. He couldn't be no more than 19, 20, 21 years old. Good boy. Good looking kid, right? So we, we wish him well and we thank him for his service. And, um, but it really is gorgeous. It's quiet. Um, it's thoughtful, restful. Um, 
and it's a gorgeous day today outside even coming in on the train it was a beautiful day um, so I wanted to um, and there's not a lot of sitting down space so when you find it you have to like take advantage but there are walls some of the walls have um, what do you call it? like the posters of missing people missing persons that had been posted up around the city. They were like that all over Rikers Island. People were hoping if people were in jail at least, they knew that they were safe. And that's something. Hmm. So, <sighs> anyway, I just wanted to get up and join. And I didn't even, I'm, I was, my, my appointment was for noon. And when I stepped off the train, and I was up, I was dressed, I was ready, I just was taking my time. And do you know when I got off the train, the clock said 12-12 in the subway, I swear to God, when I got off at the World Trade Center stop off the E train this afternoon, I was supposed to be at noon and I was running late. When I walked out and I looked at the clock, it was 12-12. Ah, shay. So, I think it's important that I would, you know, Kumbaya today, right? Kumbaya. Um, it's beautiful. And it's clean and it's crisp. Don't bring any food, right? You can only have water. There are no restaurants or snack places in here. So just know that if you ever make the trip. There you're eating outside. There are vendors around. And there are restaurants and things now. Um, and as I said, in the um, subway across the street, the MTA building, there are, there's an Apple store and there, uh, and you can charge your phone in the Apple store if you run out of electricity. Uh, and um, not a lot of ports around in general. So try to keep your little charger thing with you. And there are food courts there. Now today though, People were complaining because the restaurants weren't open, but that's because it's not, it's Veterans Day. A lot of those store um, or owners, the people who worked at the franchises, probably are veterans. That's why they probably were able to get those spots, put in bids for it, you know, whatever. I don't know how it goes, but I, from what I remember of how that kind of stuff works, you have to put in a bid and then uh, they look at your credentials and then the mayor or whoever's in charge of the planning makes a decision. And, um, but a lot of people in a lot of different walks of life, the rich people, poor people, middle class people have been in the military. Um, you know, West Point Academy is here, New York State, I believe, yes. New York, New Jersey. Um, people go in, they graduate and come out as officers. The recruiting stations, stations all over the place in, in uh, New York. I know that. And uh, so a lot of people have served. And some of those owners of stores, the restaurants, they closed the restaurant because, but like I know when years ago I was in Las Vegas and it was Veterans Day. Absolutely I was. I love Nevada. I love Las Vegas. Anyway, and all of the casinos were allowing veterans to eat free that day. You know what? I think a lot of the stores do too. If you show them a certain type of ID um, or you come in in your uniform, they will give you a discount or let, let you have a free meal. But I remember being at the um, hmm, Orleans Hotel in Las Vegas. And this hotel was kind of self-contained. It has its own bars, it has its own casinos, it has a bowling alley, it has markets, um, restaurants. You wouldn't massage, hairdressers, anything. You don't have to leave the premises if you don't want to. You know, you can come out of your, in your bed, ro your, your robe and come down and have breakfast. At the time, now this is many years ago, Hmm. I, I think I could get steak and egg breakfast for less than $5 in this hotel. I think it was 3 
but that's how it is in Vegas, you know. I love it. And you can walk around with a drink in your hand. Nobody bothers you up and down the strip. Oh, I love it. And then at uh, certain times of night at old uh, Vegas, because there's like a new Vegas and an old Vegas. The old Vegas is like where the gangsters and them started this, you know, the Vegas thing. They um, have like a, a, a light show at night in the sky. But anyway, getting back to Veterans Day. Yeah, I was there for Veterans Day that year. Hmm, that's weird. Huh. Anyway, yeah, a gamble, gambling. All right, I guess that's the association with the, because gambling has been coming up a lot, right? In my reading, I think I spoke about someone gambling. And things relate to, you know, when you, when you do reading, sometimes these messages resonate with you and for you. And it doesn't have to be right then. It could be another time. I, I thank uh, my ego for my protection that I, sometimes I just go back and look at just randomly. And if it's my video that I've done a reading for anybody, for the collective or personal, if I'm drawn to it, I'll listen to the message that day because it may have something that's uplifting for me, for my situation, and for my soul at the time. So, but it's nice to um, come by, come out and, I'm sorry, do this, come out and be around people a little bit, even though it's a solemn situation, but it's a beautiful memorial. I don't know if you guys can see, people are here, and that's the ladies room. That's how come there's a seat over here, because there's not a lot of seat. There's not a lot of seating here. What happened? I just got real dark. Okay. 